Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to another episode of Learning C++20. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be looking at immediate functions as they're implemented in GCC 10. So before we start talking about these immediate functions and this const eval specifier, let's go ahead and give a little refresher on const expr. So const expr, you know, from the CPP reference page says that it specifies that a value of a variable or function can appear in constant expressions. And then a constant expression is just an expression that can be evaluated at compile time. So the key word here is can, right? The, you know, the value of a variable or function can appear in constant expressions. It doesn't say that it has to. Now const eval allows us to be a little more specific and says that a function is an immediate function. That is every call to the function must produce a compile time constant, right? So over here, it, if we look in the explanation, it says that every call to the function must directly or indirectly produce a compile time constant expression. So for uh, basically forcing this to be evaluated at compile time. So let's go ahead and take a look at a quick example here, and we'll be looking at a recursive um, Fibonacci function. So here we've marked it as const eval, um, then you know your basic Fibonacci recursive function. If n is less than or equal to one, you return n. Otherwise, you go ahead and just return Fibonacci of n minus one and n minus two. So the first thing we'll do here is we'll just call Fibonacci with 22, right? So this, uh, this is a constant expression, right? So we can evaluate this at compile time um, with this immediate value like this. Um, but something like this down here that we have you know, commented out with um, the input being rand mod 20, we can't call that with this const eval function. And the reason why is because rand gets evaluated at runtime, not at compile time. And so because of that, right, rand isn't const expr, so it's not part of um, a constant expression. Right, so it, it won't work in this const eval case. So let's compile it first with that commented out. So let's go ahead and do G++ on const eval, set the standard to C++ 2A, and we'll call the output const eval. So here we get the Fibonacci of 22 is 17711. All right, so let's go ahead and open this back up. And now let's see what happens uh, when we go ahead and uncomment this, um, resetting a val to um, you know, Fibonacci rand some number. So if we go ahead and compile this, right, we get a very um, obvious error here that says that error call to non-const expr function int rand, right? So we can't have that in there because it's a non-const expr function, and we're trying to use that with our immediate function, right, our Fibonacci. Okay, so now let's compare this with const expr. So remember, const expr says it can be a part of a compile time, or it can be part of a constant expression that's evaluated at compile time. So if we change this to const expr, right? You see our errors are going to end up going away. And if we try to compile this, right? Everything works just fine. And the reason why is because it doesn't have to be at compile time here. It can be though. So that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video. As always, all this content can be found at github.com slash coffee before arch. So if you wanna take a look at this code or any of these examples, you can check out the C++20 samples repository. So over here, we looked at const eval. So feel free to download this code, play around with it. Let me know if you have any questions. And as always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.